Hey everyone, welcome back once again, and today I am finally getting to my Billy Summers review. I know it's been about a month since the book hit the shelves, but sometimes life gets in the way. I've uh, been pretty busy, took me uh, a little bit to actually get it read and get around to making this video and all that. But like they say, better late than never. I'm excited to talk about it, so let's get right into it. All right, so here it is, Billy Summers. Like I said, been out for about a month now. Uh, just quickly going over, I'm not going to talk about the plot too much because obviously if you're watching this video, you probably know what it's about. Billy Summers is a assassin, uh, pretty high end. He's an ex-Iraq uh, vet who uh, uses his skills to take out bad people. Sort of like, you know, the whole Dexter motto is the way I thought about it. Um, so he gets hired by like mobsters and people with a lot of money to, um, to take out people they want dead, obviously pretty simple. And the first 200 pages basically read like that kind of reminded me of 11, 22, 63. I kind of got the vibes there, uh, minus the whole time travel thing, obviously, but where he was kind of setting up a life of his own, um, a fake life, but uh, um, you know, he had to go so deep undercover that he would have had to obtain all the things that you would in real life, like friends and a place to stay and, and just an entirely new identity. So it kind of reminded me of that. And like I said, for the first 200 pages, it kind of read that way. And he even took it one step further as, you know, taking out a little insurance on himself, um, taking a third, taking on a third identity that uh, his employers even didn't know about just in case he, um, you know, got bad vibes about they, you know, they weren't going to live up to their word and they wanted to take him out. So um, it was pretty cool. It went pretty deep. Like he was saying, he was juggling three identities. Um, then when you hit about the halfway point of this book, uh, a very prominent character comes in in Alice. Kind of like what he did with Holly Gibney in Mr. Mercedes. Alice comes in about halfway through or so. And she is actually a huge character to the rest of the novel. Alice was pretty awesome. Um, she was pretty badass, strong female character. Um, long story short, he, he ends up taking on Alice um, out of goodwill when he sees a bunch of guys drop her across the street from where he was saying incapacitated. Uh, turns out, a little bit of a spoiler here that she was gang raped and drugged and raped by these three guys. Uh, so Billy ends up taking her in and, and nursing her back to help type thing. She ends up taking a liking to Billy and they end up, they end up basically working together for the rest of the novel. Uh, so, you know, without giving too much away from that point on, cause that's really where it starts to pick up. Uh, that that's the just of the plot of the book. I thought this was a very, very good read. It just seems to be with, with the two books from this year, Later and this one, you know, he's really not losing it at all. He, he, he's still churning out great content and he just, you know, with, with the entire multiverse and everything like that that he's created, I feel like even if he doesn't go back to the multiverse, you know, you know square on uh, to make it a part of his plot and tie it all into that, he can still dabble in with it, which is what he did here. Um, it, there was a very prominent tie-in to uh, a, an original book. I don't want to give it away if you haven't read it, because that's the beauty of reading New King is, is stumbling across the connections. Uh, but yes, that's, that's all I'll say in that regard. But like I said, he didn't tie it right into the plot. It was just kind of like happening on the side, which was pretty cool. So he doesn't like rely on it. And other than that, little bit of supernatural element to this. There wasn't really a supernatural presence in this book in terms of the plot. Um, very straightforward, you know, just mobsters and, and hey, conspiracies and, and backstabbing and, and, you know, every, everything like that that comes with, with, uh, with that territory. So, um, like I said, very good read. Um, I did get a lot of comments on my ranking video where I ranked all 61 of his books uh, where this one would rank and I didn't really respond to any of them uh, in the comments section because I hadn't read it yet and I wanted to touch upon it in in this review video so 
in saying that, I thought about it, I watched my video back, and I would put this somewhere between Mr. P Mr. Mercedes and The Outsider. I thought it was a little bit better than Mr. Mercedes, not as good as The Outsider, just because I thought The Outsider's villain was just super creepy. Uh, but yeah, somewhere in between there, and I think I had them kind of in the mid-teens, so I'd say this one would probably like rank anywhere from 15 to 20, if I were to just ballpark a number right there. So hopefully that answer some of your questions that were inquiring about it in my last video. Um, yeah, overall, I give it a four out of five star. I don't usually rate my books by star rating, but hey, here it is. Four out of five, I'd say. Uh, still a really good read. Very entertaining. It's about 500 pages or so, so it's a good length for, for a King novel. I like my King novels a little meatier. And yeah, hey, uh, you know, just can't wait for the next one. Hopefully he gets something announced pretty soon. Quick review. That's really all I got to say. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, I uh, I got some pretty good videos coming. I've hit a thousand subscribers in case you haven't noticed, which is pretty cool. Never really thought I'd hit that. I will be doing a thousand subscriber video with a bit of a Stephen King themed giveaway. So if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe if you want eligibility to uh, winning the Stephen King giveaway. And we'll be coming with that with that video for you shortly. Okay, take care guys, happy reading, and we'll talk to you soon.